What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, now this story is coming out of Texas, Beaumont, Texas. Now this is an update to a story I did about a month ago on this man right here, Pastor Jason West, who lost his life in a house fire. Let's begin. Pastor Jason West was an associate minister at the House of Prayer Missionary Baptist Church for six years. Those who knew him said that he was a kind, gentle soul, always willing to help others, and that his death was a big loss for the community. Now back at court, the Jefferson County Grand Jury indicted Shannon Arduin, 39 years old, for murdering Pastor West in the case where he's accused of setting a fire to cover up a crime. Now Justice of the Peace Ben Collins Sr. told the local news that he's still waiting for the preliminary autopsy results, but that Pastor West was murdered prior to the fire. Now you all remember that firefighters discovered Pastor West's body badly burned after putting out the fire in his home. Pastor West's body was found wrapped in black plastic under his bed. The police also found a bag containing bloody socks, gloves, and shorts on top of the bag. Now when this story first aired on the news, the police had already said that Channon Arguin was a suspect. And many people in that town and also people who commented on that video said how did the police know to go for Channon? How did they know to get him? Well I'm going to tell you. Police found Channon Arguin's fingerprints at the scene of the crime. Police officers also have video evidence that Channon Arduin was at Pastor West's home prior to the killing. Now I'm going to let you all watch this video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary and you all know me, I'm Dawson and I won't hold back. In case you've missed it, a grand jury indicted the accused killer of a Beaumont minister, 39-year-old Shannon Ardwan is charged with murdering Jason West. Beaumont police found West's body inside of his burned down home on Dallas Avenue last month. Officials believe Ardwan set the minister's house on fire to cover up evidence of the murder. Ardwan was on the run for weeks before finally being arrested last week. Right now, he's sitting in a Jefferson County jail on a $1 million bond. All right, y'all, let's go in. But before I go in, let me send my condolences out to the family and friends of Pastor Jason West. I know he was beloved in that community, and you all miss him a lot. Now, since doing that first story, a lot of people have reached out, and many people have their own opinion of Pastor Jason West and some of Chan and Ardwan. And a few people got in the comments section on that first video I did, and they talked about them knowing Pastor uh, Jason West, and someone went to the church and they had a comment on that, and then some people talked about Channon. However, from the research I did on this particular story, I still believe, I believe you all, that Pastor Jason West, who friends describe him as a kind, gentle soul, a giving person, always willing to help others, I believe that he was trying to help Channon, and Channon took advantage of the situation, and that led to Pastor Jason West losing his life. Channon is a career criminal, and he's a con artist, and people like him who've been in and out of jail or prison know how to get over on naive and gullible people, especially individuals who are in religious institutions who always want to help everyone and see the best in people. No, ma'am, sir, sometimes you need to Google and do your research on people and see who they really are, and if that was done in this particular situation, Channon's mugshots and his criminal records would have popped up. You all Google these people who come in your life do your due diligence it's your life now look here i know some of you all from that last video <laughs> many of you thought that something was going on between the pastor and Channon. look i don't know all i know is that no matter what was going on it shouldn't have led to the death of pastor jason west Yes, everyone has questions about this uh, particular case. The people in Beaumont, Jason West's family, the police are trying to figure out a motive. They want to know what the relationship was between Pastor Jason West and Shannon Arduin. Now, I'll keep you all up to date on this. I'm following this case closely. I'm glad that now Shannon is behind bars and he's being held on a $1 million bond. Now, let me say this. <laughs> 
On the last video I did, y'all, there were two women, and they kept going back and forth in the comment section. One was a doctor. I don't know if their comments are still there. I think I blocked you. But one, they kept saying, Dawson, the pictures of Channon don't match. One, he looks lean, and the other one, he looks built. I'm confused, and maybe the police are confused, too. Are that is that the same person? Are they the same pictures? Look, ma'am. I'm not confused about the suspect, and neither are the Beaumont police. However, since you're so worried if the pictures are correct, research the story for yourself. Do your own research, all right? That's a picture of Channon, and that's a picture of the pastor. As a matter of fact, if you all know me, I don't do videos every day. So when I come out here doing YouTube videos, trust, I've done my work. As a matter of fact, I haven't been on YouTube in 11 days now. And the views and everything is still up. <laughs> Thank y'all for subscribing. It don't even seem like I left. So, ma'am, if I'm doing a story, trust Dawson do his research. Don't don't do me like that. Do them other people like that. Do them like that. They chasing fame. They want to be with the celebrities. I just report the news again. I'm getting off of this, y'all. But y'all should have seen those women going at it in the comments. Dawson in the car, it don't look like he got muscles. But then on the other one, I'm like, give me a break. That's him, man. Okay? Now, my subscribers and the police, we're not worried about no damn muscles. We're trying to figure out why the pastor was murdered in his home. Shannon is a career criminal. He's been in and out of penal institutions his whole life. <laughs> All they do in there is eat, lift weights, do calisthenics, and play basketball so they can get out and trick you women or men into taking the most of them in and y'all fall for it. Some of you women and some of you men, you got people in prison you waiting for. They're serving time and you serving time as well. Some of y'all got pen pals in there. Never seen a person in your life. You wait for this man to get out, waiting for this woman to get out. All oh, this mess they got on TV. What's that? Love after lockup? Get out of here. You don't know what's going on in there. Speaking of love after lockup and waiting for these men and women to get out of prison that you all love and you're trying to hold them down. Y'all better listen to this article here. It just was released this month. And, you know, December 1st is World AIDS Day, so I might as well go ahead and tackle this subject now. Black women make up the majority of new HIV cases among women, but they aren't getting care. And the article stated that though men remain the largest group diagnosed with HIV, black women make up the majority of HIV cases among women. 7,000 women diagnosed with the virus in 2018 and black women made up more than 4,000, 4,000 cases according to the Center in Disease Control and Prevention, which reports transgender women in a separate category. Despite staggering rates, experts say there is less awareness of black women's burden of the virus, which is associated with men who have sex with men. One in nine women are unaware they have the virus, according to the CDC report. Numerous barriers contribute to the disparities in diagnoses and treatments, including structural racism, stigma, discrimination, homophobia, health care access. Those assigned female at birth, black women and teens and young adults have the lowest percentage of HIV medical care, according to the CDC. Now listen to this. Taking daily HIV prevention pills, PrEP, has been shown to be highly effective in preventing infection. And that's why you see these sisters right here on this picture that have their PrEP shirts on because black women are coming together and they're talking about this, all right? But only one PrEP pill, Travada, and the injectable, Apertude, have been approved by the FDA for use by women. Another pill, Discovy, was approved in 2019 but was tested on and approved only for men. So these black women in these organizations are coming together and they're getting the word out for black women to get tested. Come on, y'all, go get tested. And they did an awesome write-up on this sister right here, Phyllis Malone. She's an HIV prevention specialist at Sister Love, which is a non-for-profit organization in Atlanta. If you are in the Atlanta area, if you are a woman and you need to be tested or get checked out, please go to Phyllis Malone at Sister's Love. All right, Sister Love in Atlanta. Tell a Dawson sent you. Now, I know everybody wants and everybody deserves love, but you have to be honest with the person that you're with about your past and your health status. You just have to. Well, Dawson, I can't tell them right now. I feel they'll leave me if I tell them the truth. I can't face that right now. Well, look, God will put you in situations where you have to face it. Like he did with this woman from Florida, Miss Bell. Miss Bell, she was stopped by the police and her companion was in the car with her. She had a backpack with her medication in it. And when the police asked what was in the backpack, she told them she had some stuff for pain for her back. And she also told them that she had her HIV medicine in the bag. However, 
Mrs. Bell did not tell her companion that she was HIV positive. And immediately when she started talking to the officer about what was in the bag, the man in the driver's side, he broke down crying because he didn't know that Miss Bell was HIV positive and she was arrested. Miss Bell was arrested on charges of an HIV infected person having sex without informing a partner and possession of controlled substance. Men and women have to be careful out here. There are some people who are not going to be honest with you. Now, I have the story right there. You all can look it up. You all know I'm full of information. I don't just say this stuff for me to say it. You all look it up yourself so you know it too. Come on, it's just not enough for me to know this stuff. You got to know it as well. And for you women, mostly it's been women, but I know men go through this too, who are in the church and you were married and you contracted sexually transmitted diseases, some curable and those that are not curable. I've gotten all your letters and you all know you all fuel me to do stuff like this because I know the church wants to keep this silent. And many of you women can't talk to nobody in the church. So you all come and give me those letters because you all know I'm going to talk about it on the YouTube show I created and cultivated. (laughs) They're not going to make me shut my mouth. Now look here. Now that's my speech for World AIDS Day, which is on December the 1st. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, I know they be getting mad at me. I ain't going to stop. That's why I got my own show. I can say whatever I want. Until then, it's your guy Dawson. You all take care of yourself and each other. Go down there and get tested wherever you are. Go to your local health department, a free clinic, a pop-up clinic. Go to your primary physician, whatever you got to do. Uh, if you're in Atlanta, go to Sister Love. Tell Phyllis Malone that Dawson sent you, all right? You all take care of yourself and each other. Peace.